Hello, darlings. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, I've been to my local Polish shop and got what I believe to be a Polish lager. Uh, I think it's brewed by the Zywek Brewery, which are now owned by Heineken. And it's called something like Tatra. Hopefully it's not a load of old Tat. Uh, it's Tatra Jasny Pelm. It says on the can there, so, as you can see. Quite a dull looking can, this one, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit different to the cans we got over here, let's say. But it might have a bit of sank about it, this one. It's 5.8% ABV, which is, uh, if it is a lager, that's rather strong for a lager, isn't it? It's 500ml can, and, and it costs you £1.50. And it's a nice, decent sized can as well. So I thought it sounds like it's worth a try, being as I do tend to like quite a lot of Polish beers. I don't like them all, but it's got to be worth a gamble for one buck fifty. Uh yeah, let's crack her open and uh, see if I like it. Right, I'm gonna chuck it in the old Star of Praman glass because it's a very nice glass to drink out of this one uh, for the lagers. If you've tried this before, or perhaps you're Polish, let me know. Is this beer rated in Poland? Or have you tried it and you're not Polish? Did you like it? I'm interested to know. There we go, she's all in. Got a very nice white head in there. It's quite a looker, it looks, looks like quite a nice beer. There you go, it's sort of steady levels of carbonation down up the glass. Quite compact bubbles in the head, as you can see. Have a look at that beer. All right, uh, let's give it a whiff and check out the aromas. Smells a bit uh, sweet, a bit corny. Oh, I snorted it now. Oh. <laughs> Malty, but almost like a like sticky, sweet sort of uh, malt. Smell about this one. It's a nice golden colour though, isn't it? Hopefully it tastes all right, because it, it looks quite nice to be fair. Hence holding not too badly. Let's uh, chuck it down the neck and see what she's all about, shall we? Nars and dry away. Cheers, everybody. Bosh. Uh, yeah, it's not the best, I mean. It's got sort of a medium body. It's not particularly that easy drinking. It's uh, it's not, it's the sort of lager that's not really my thing. It's a bit, a bit of a sweet one, you know. It's a very malty lager. It's got kind of a sticky sort of sweetness about it. Well, I don't know if it's, it's there's some syrup or something in this. I don't know, but it could just be. I mean, it's bready and it's just very sweet, very sweet malt. So almost a bit overwhelming for me and my tastes. I prefer, you know, more hops as well, not as well as just the malt. Uh, it's a bit, bit simple as well. To be honest with you. It's almost like candied sort of sweetness that you get in some of the Belgian beers. It's grainy. I mean, it's not the worst beer in the world, to be fair. Good strength to it. Hides the ABV relatively well. Oh, I've had a lot worse. Do you know what I mean? It's just not how I like my lagers. I prefer, personally, more of a Pilsner type lager a nice bitterness on the end and more hops this is little to no hot presence in this beer for me um this is all about the malt so if you like your multi lagers and your sweet multi lagers um you may like this more than myself uh i don't think it's dreadful it's just a bit overly sweet for me for me there is Perhaps some hops in here. On the end, perhaps a very, very light grassiness and bitterness. Um, but it's barely noticeable. So sort of, for me, the, 
It's not the best balanced beer. You sort of hit with that sort of candied sweetness, um, which is quite strong at the start. And then you sort of wait and nothing of note else really happens apart from that sweetness. It needs something to sort of counteract that sweetness a little bit for me. And it's just got a very low bitterness on the end. As I say, with that mild sort of grassy uh, hoppy taste, very, very little hops. Uh, but yeah, it's not dreadful or nothing like that. Um, I personally wouldn't buy this one again. You know, I'm still going to drink it. It's not a, it's not a sinker or a down the sink jobby or nothing like that. It's just compared to the other Polish lagers I've tried, it's one of the worst ones. Um, which is still probably better than a lot of the crap we get over here in the UK, like your Carlins and Carlsberg and all that. But yeah, I like me lagers to be nice and crisp and refreshing and easy drinking. And I'm just struggling a little bit with this one. And I believe it's, it is the sweetness. It's just not my thing. There may be people... Perhaps if you like your all malt lagers, like I say, you may rate this a bit more than me. But for me, this is a um, like a five and a half out of ten lager. Uh, maybe six at best. Uh, it's just not quite doing it for me. Uh, but, you know, you can't win them all, can you? And you know, we're all different. Like I'd say there may be some people that do like this. Um, but ever since I've tried that Pilsner Quell, I've just got... I think for Pilsners, particularly, particularly Czech Pilsners, and uh, I drink them quite a lot, like when I'm not reviewing beer, and I, I miss when I have a lagers that don't have that sort of Pilsner quell bitterness on the end. Uh, I tend to miss it. <sighs> Going down pretty easy though, to be fair. I sat in easy drinking. It's 5.8%, and it's not lasting very long, is it? It is my first beer of the day, you know, the first one does tend to fly back for me. Does anyone else get that? You know, if you go into the pub or whatever, the first one just don't touch the sides. It's like, just when you, uh, you know, you really fancy it, it's just sort of, and then you slow down a little bit. The first one is just like, just gets demolished. I suffer from that issue. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys, as I say. I'm going to go with five and a half out of ten. Um, I appreciate you tuning in. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you if you're a subscriber and you've made it this far. And now I really do appreciate all the uh, love and the, all the comments and that you guys give. Uh, yeah, it's, it's lovely. We're building a little bit of a few regulars in the channel now as the time's gone on a bit. And uh, it's nice to see sort of familiar faces and that that are sort of uh, interacting with the channel. And uh, even seeing a few people making friends in the comments and that. And uh, that's, that's lovely to see. Um, yeah, until the next one, guys. Bye-bye, darlings.